okay, well, I don't know what happened, but I was doing a video and all of a sudden, um, <laughs> you know, it just stopped. But you hear the fight, the um, ambulances. It's been, they've been doing this for the past, since I got back in the house from mom taking my daughter to uh, the boys and girls, picking up from school and taking them to the boys and girls. And um, they've been engaging in this noise campaign for the past half an hour, okay, constant. And then uh, as I was re going to record this video, actually the previous one, again, you, you have Predator Department out there. Yeah, the, same, look, yeah, the, the noise. <laughs> yeah, they've been using that a lot too. The little noise from those um, scooters, right? The little, I guess, alarm, what have you. But anyhow, um, so my daughter told me that she got to school late this morning because her mother couldn't get up again, right? This is, you know, my son, um, when I left, uh, he was already in bed before 9 o'clock. So he got up this morning. Both of them got up at 6 o'clock. Um, and he left around... Uh, hopefully, she, my daughter said he left before uh, seven o'clock. So hopefully, he left back around six thirty, so to get to school on time uh, this morning. Now, as far as my daughter goes, of course, you know she says I wake mommy up, but she just went back to sleep. I woke up again, she went back to sleep. So we end up uh, end up getting to school late again, you know. And and see, like I said, it doesn't matter. You know, I was telling the vice principal when we had a, a parents teacher uh, meeting a conference about my daughter's lateness. And this vice principal was talking uh, to Pam as if my daughter was an adult or a teenager to where she can get up in the morning, iron her clothes, make her own breakfast so she can get to school on time. And I had to shut both of them down. I said, I'm not going to allow you guys to uh, treat my daughter as if she's an adult. She's not an adult. She's a child. Okay. It is the responsibility of the parents to make sure that they, the children get to school on time. That's why when I'm here, the kids get to school on time. When I'm not here, their mother can care less. They have to wait on her until she is ready to get up in the morning. She will turn off her alarm multiple times because she's not ready to get up. And then she gets up minutes to eight, 730, minutes to eight. Then it's like, I'm late. Then on top of that, the kids, you know, she expects the kids to iron their own clothes and make their own breakfast, which is um, it's just incredible to me, you know, but that has been her mindset and it's not going to change, you know. So, you know, I guess at least the the good thing this morning that my son got to school but I spoke to him last and I said listen I really need you to take this seriously okay I'm not here at night you need to be able to go to sleep and get to school early in the morning I said you know I iron your clothes for you or have you I said you know um, I had to order him a new uh, card from um, green light because he lost his cards so I said you know you can use that card you can buy breakfast on your way to school start don't wait for your mother and I told him, I said, don't let your mother do it, twist your hair at night. Don't do it, especially on the weekday or on a Sunday. Let her do it on a Friday or on a Saturday. I said, if she doesn't do it, then you just wait till the next weekend. All right? So just trying to speak to him and just, you know, make him become aware of certain things because it's it's ridiculous. It really is. And anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.